Joining us live on www.thepapare.com at the Dmesnet College grounds in Kandana for the Papare Football Championship group encounter between Dmesnet College and Maristella College. It will be a match group deciding clash. The kickoff is just moments away. We will go for a short commercial break. Join us again in a few moments where we bring you live action. Papare.com Karapu Sankalpe Lankawe Kridika Kridika and Itama Daile Ongi Adhas Krida Toroturu Ita Matarava Sri Lanki Pasen Mata Adambara Via Haki Mi Alut Sankalpa Krida Locate the Geneva Gana Mamatarama Papare.com make it a suit one. Huge amount of cricket fans out there. They look at things in so much detail. They demand detail much more than you know. We have a video analyst for us. Mm. These guys want even more detail when it comes <laughs> to you know reading about the game and understanding. So I think the Papare.com provides all of that beautifully. So uh, you know, congratulations and well done to the Papare.com because for people like me and for for millions of other cricket fans around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you are back with us live on the number one sports hub www.thepapare.com as we the kickoff for the clash between D Mesnet College and Marisla College is just moments away. The lineups for D Mesnet College will be Denet Teek Shaiva, Nimshan Soisa, Pramudita Fernando, Nisa Ludayanga, Ushan Madushanka. Nipun Fernando, Ramesh Fernando, Diluk Shanuka, Avishka Jeevanta, and Avishka Deshan, 
while for Maristella it will be Nisal Silva, Krishal Fernando, Mohamed Chajid, Pramod Chiranta, Shannon Dabara, Rajindu Fernando, Ravindu Fernando, Asita Fernando, Nishoda Fernando, goalkeeper Pramudita Pereira, Ravindu Rishan and Saminda. The two teams just preparing for kickoff, having the final team huddles. As both teams are top of their group with this encounter having the possibility of being the decider for the group with both Mahari Stella and D. Masnad on top with seven points while St. Patrick's College is the other possibility with five points as the game kicks off with Masnad now in possession. Maristella winning the ball back, passing it off. Poor attempt at a shot there by Rajindu Fernando. Could not get it anywhere near the target as it will be a goal kick to the Mesonet College. We measured now in possession. And that will be a free kick to Maristella just outside the measured box. Yes, they are number 10. That is, Sam in the was cut down with a poor challenge. And now Maristella in a very dangerous area have the chance with a set piece to open the deadlock. It seems like both the skipper Nisal Silva has stepped up. Captain takes it, hits the upright. Unfortunately for Maristella, it struck the post and came off and unfortunately there was no one for them to strike in the rebound as now the imaginer awarded the foul and will look to slow the game down that was a great strike there by the skipper Nisal Silva as now Masnet College poor attempt there but still in possession The Maristella now awarded a free kick. Maristella have done well in their group so far. They had a massive win against Bandanai College. As now, very close chance there for Maristella. They start. They have started this encounter on a very positive note they've had a number of chances in the opening three minutes unfortunately for them they haven't been able to get the final touch now once again Maricilla looking to keep possession however it will be a throw into the Mazenad Maricilla once again the forward just fouling the goalkeeper there. 
As I was saying previously, Maristela trashed Bandaranaika College 8 0 in their opening encounter before defeating St. Sebastian 3 1 and then having a 1 0 draw against St. Patrick's Jaffna, while D. Mazenod College similarly defeated St. Sebastian's 4 1 in their opening encounter, drew against St. Patrick's 1 1, and then had a walkover win against Bandar Naika College to see them both level on seven points. Yes. The referee has deemed a foul there and awarded a free kick to Masnet College. Good strike there, unfortunately. It was Defended well by Maristella. The boys from Nigambo have been the more dominant side in the opening few minutes. Throwing taken by Mazenad. Unfortunately for him, he could not control the ball there and it goes out for a goal kick. If he had controlled it there, it could have been the first goal. But it will be a goal kick to Maristella and it struck downfield. Good defending by Maristella. Clears the ball down the field. Maristella still in position. Maristella once again breaking in. However, the attempted shot there was easily gathered by the goalkeeper. It's now Dimas not struggling a bit defensively. Maristella mounting attack after attack as the throw in is taken. Once again, poor defensive work by Marisla. Should have easily cleared that throw in. But no harm done as it's gathered by the goalkeeper and heaved downfield. That's now Pomorita Fernando in possession. Passes it off. He must not look to break and that will be a foul. Referee having a word with the player. Just letting him off with a warning as now Promorita Fernando gets ready to take the set piece. He will look to find a teammate in the box. He struck well. Pardon the silence. There was a slight amount of confusion there from the screen it looked to go in but it seems to have gone in from the outside as it will be a goal kick and now once again Marshall looks set to be in position but a foul has been called and it will be Dee Mazenad's ball Good take there by goalkeeper Pramudita Pereira.
Yes. That is an unwanted guest on field. As they say, football is the most popular game in the world. Everyone wants to get in on the action. As it will be a throw into Maristella. Team has not take the kick off quickly. Some of the players were still celebrating. Fortunately for Maristella, the defenders who were back were able to clear it before any danger came. They've been in a heart in a moment mode, having just scored. However, 11 minutes into the game, it is now Demons Not College nil, Maristella College 1. Position back with Demasnet College. As it stands, Maristella will progress into the quarter final of the Papere Football Championship 2018. And Demasnet College will just have to hope that Sebastians are able to either beat St. Patrick's or at least hold them to a draw. However, the Masonet College have plenty of time remaining in this game to bring the game back into their favour. That's now a set piece for the Masonet College. As the rain has indeed started falling in Kandana, it will be interesting to see how the change in the ground conditions affect the players. Maricela once again looking to break into the box. Well defended there by Dimasnet College as they now look to break on the counter attack. Sloppy there by Maricela. Unfortunately, though, for Dimasnet College, the flag is raised by the linesman for offside foul. And Maricela will once again. Have the chance to mount an attack from the back. Maristella once again in position. Going to Maristella. Foul committed there by Maristella. The Masnet are slowly starting to grow back into the game. That's Promedita Fernando, who is the leading goal scorer with three goals so far, looks to get this ball into the box. That was a stunning strike there. Superb work by Pramudita Fernando. Living up to his expectations. Unfortunately, just a bit too much power there. Saw it strike the crossbar. However, it will be a corner kick now to Dimezen as they take it short. Poor pass. Do sees it right back with Maristella. As now Maristella on the counter.
be Mazdan College, however, once again. That was good work by Avish Kadeshan. Unfortunately, took a touch too much and his cross went out of bounds. As now Marista will build from the goal kick. Maristel as captain, meanwhile, Nisal Tarindu Silva is the leading goal scorer of the Papri Football Championship with five goals. Scoring four of those five in a single match against Bandaranaika College. As once again, Dimasna College in possession. Ball back with Promodita. Promodita passing it off. Avish Kadeshan dribbles past his Manuel, but he is taken down, and that will be another free kick to the Mesnet College. Quite a number of fouls in this opening 20 minutes. The referee yet to go into his pocket. As Pramudita Fernando once again stands over the set piece, he will look to find a Head of his teammate. The rain steadily coming down. Struck well. Could not find a teammate, however, as now Maristella looked to clear. And the Maricela player looked to slip there due to the wet conditions. So the rain is already coming into play here at the Dimasnar College grounds, Kanana. Maricela once again in possession. Free as the assistant linesman has waved for a of foul offence there, and it will be a free kick to the Mazdat College. The Mazdat College in possession. Maricela inside the box, poor effort there, should have taken a touch and gone for goal. Unfortunately, he tried to go first time and that was one of the easiest saves the goalkeeper will ever have to make. As now Maricela once again, no foul, says the referee. As Ravindu Rishan. The pass just too much there for his teammate. It will be a goal kick. Taken short. We mentioned college looking to pass the ball forward. Poor pass by Avish Kadeshan there, sees it back with Maristella. Maris 
Chacha taking a long throw in. Poor touch by Shannon there. Straight out for another throw into the Mazenard College. Position bouncing back, back and forth quite rapidly here in the opening half. From Rita Fernando. It's taken a blow to the head. And referee has awarded a foul to against Mari Stella. The rain has started falling more rapidly here at Kandana. Must not taking their time to make sure they get this right. That, that was struck well. But unfortunately for the Mesnard College, Dean Jaya could not get his foot to it. And it will be out for another goal kick. Not forgetting, ladies and gentlemen, that this clash Indeed, has the potential to be a group decider. As Maristela and the Mesnard College both on top with seven points each. And as things stand, Maristela would top their group with ten points. While that would leave the Mesnard College and St. Patrick's to claim second position. Depending on St. Patrick's encounter with St. Sebastian's. As you can see now, the rain pouring down. But as they say in football, rain makes the sport more exciting. However, it on the fall, but no harm. We apologize for the interruption. There was a slight technical error. Yes. The referee has seen an elbow thrown and it will be a free kick to the Mesnard College. Marisela clear the ball. The Mesner College have grown back into the game. The denied equalizer seems to have boosted their spirits. They know that they need at least a point to have a comfortable chance of going through. Poor control there. Uh, ball back with the Mesner College from Rita Fernando. Looked to dribble past, unfortunately, couldn't. He looked to have taken out a Marista player, but referee didn't see anything in it. It will be a corner kick now. I beg your pardon, it will be a throw in. That's the referee signal there. Maricela. That 
that was good a good attempt there by Ravind Durishan unfortunately it was blocked off and now Dean Asner College look to break however Pramudita Fernando is foul there takes a quick free kick finds Deshaun Avishka Deshaun back to Pramudita Fernando That was some good defensive work by Maricela. Unfortunately, the player seems to have taken a knock. It was a stunning effort there by Pramudita Fernando. Took the shot on the volley. Did could, could had the option to take a touch before taking the strike. But it was a great effort nonetheless. Just over the crossbar. And it remains 1-0 to Maristella. As Maristella now try to break on the other side. Foul once again. It has been quite a collection of fouls in this first half. Only one yellow card shown so far, however. Marisa once again taking their time with the set piece. Mazinat defence really should have done better there. Fortunately for them, it's cleared out at the expense of a corner. It will be the captain, Tarindu Silva. Found the header at the end of it. Could not direct it on target as it goes out for a goal kick. And there's another player on your screens who is down inside the box. Seems to have taken a knock during the commotion of the corner kick. He seems all right to be all right to continue. That is Ravindu Rishan, who has been important in the build ups so far, and he will, of course, be important for their team in the remaining 60 minutes or so. As Dimasnar College are set to take the goal kick. And Dimasnath College, Avishka Deshan, God, that was Pramurita Fernando, taken down just outside the box. And Pramurita Fernando and Dimasnath College will have a set piece in a very dangerous area. 
They came very close from this a few moments ago. As you can hear their fans making their voices heard, trying to bring their team back into it. As Pramurita Fernando standing over the ball. He has been their man so far in the tournament. Can he step up for them yet again when they need him the most? It will be very unlikely, however, that he goes direct with this. He will need the support of his teammates to find their header at the end of the set piece. It was a positive attempt there by the National College. Well defended by Maris Tillais. Once again, Prometheus Fernando. Looked to find his teammate Nisa Ludeanga. Nisa Ludeanga, unfortunately, not in a similar mindset. And that pass was just too powerful for his liking. And it will be a goal kick to Maris Tiller. Time running out in the first half. Marisla heaved the ball downfield. Well gathered. Similarly well defended by Mesner College. However, it is still Marisla in possession. Poor touch by Tarindu Silva. Sees it go out for a throw in. As the Mesner College. Nimshan Soiza lays it off. Ushan Madhushanka on the ball, finds a teammate, lays it back to Nimshan Soisa. Soisa laying it off to Madhu Avishka Jeevanta. Good work by Avishka Jeevanta. Pramunita Fernando looked for the cross, could not find it, but once again Pramunita on the ball. Did well to get past his defenders. But it was well cleared out for the throw in as Pramrita hurrying to take the throw in. The wet conditions, as you can see, coming into play. Quite a number of players slipping over. And the referee saw a foul there as Maricela take the free kick. Will be important for Maricela to hold on to position. Unlike what they're doing now, as the Mazdat College once again coming very close there as promote Dilshan looked to get the at the end of the true ball, but he was. Blocked off by the defender. That's now Nimshan Soisa taking the throw in. Cleared away by the Maristella defence. Maristella on the ball. And the throw in is awarded to Maristella. We are into the final five minutes of the first half of this Group B encounter of the Papere Football Championship. Live and exclusive on the Papere.com. That's Maristella. Good work there by Rajindo Fernando. The final attempt, to, however, could not get the proper connection and it was too easy of a save for the goalkeeper. West Dimasnet College with Pramudita Fernando. Could not find a teammate.
Marty's still up. Well blocked off by the Mesnard College player. As Mesnard College now. That was Promote Dilshan who took the cross. As once again the ground conditions come into play. Unfortunately, as you can see there, the wet conditions, the ground is coming to play. Players slipping and sliding all over. They say it makes the life of defenders a nightmare, but the life of attackers much better as the Mesnard College. Sloppy work by the Maristella defense there. However, no harm done as Maristella still in position. And a foul on Rajindo Fernando. As the referee gives a warning to Nimshan Soisa. Not for the first time. Still does not go into his pocket, however. As we are now into injury time of the first half, Maricela having a set piece. Can they take advantage of this before we go into the half time break? Both teams have plenty of positives to take into the half time. However, as the scoreline shows us, it will be Maricela who are indeed the happy of the two as. A very close attempt there. A good free kick. And a good header by the Maristella player, Mohamed Sajid. Unfortunately, could not get it on target. Yeah, pardon, that seemed to be Tarindo Silva who leapt and got a header off. It was just wide of the crossbar and the upright. And the Mesdan College will have time to take the goal kick. Maricela defending quite well, however. And the referee will give them time to take the set piece. Maricela not hurrying. Maricela in possession. Breaking into the box. And that will be the second goal. That was a stunning strike. Came out of nowhere on the volley. It seemed to be the skipper, Tarindo Silva, with that blistering strike that found the back of the net. And the referee blows his whistle for half time. As the two teams go into the half time break, Dimesnet College nil, Maristella 2. Maristella early on found the back of the net through Rajindo Fernando and then. Seconds before the referee blew his whistle, Tarindo Silva threw an outstanding volley, doubled the team's lead, and Maristella going into the break 2 0. Join us 
in a f- after a short break for the second half live action on www.thepapre.com जनप्रिय पपरे डाट काम करपू संकल लंका क्रीडक क्रीडिका वी ताम दायित्व ओन गे अदा क्रीडा तोर तुर ईट अमतर श्रीलांकी वसे मट आडंबर व्य है कि अलु संकल क्रीडा लोकेट गिनेम गन मम अतरम पपरे डाट काम निकट स्तुति वाले they look at things in so much detail they demand detail much more than you know we have a video analyst for us mm. these guys want even more detail when it comes <laughs> to you know reading about the game and understand so i did the rugby pta pta kata sports masala wage satipata janapriya vishesha ganarban obe pariganake tab deke එහෙමත් නම් ස්මාර්ට් ෆෝන් එකෙන් ලබා ගන්න ඔබට ලේසියෙන්ම පුළුවන් The Papare Singhala ක්‍රීඩ පුවත් ඩිජිටලී කරන්නේ
मसाला क्या नहीं मैंने मेरे वाके दिया है बस स्पोर्ट्स मसाला क्या नहीं मैंने मेरे वाके दिया लंका क्रीड़ा वाटा आडू बुकडू में कतू करना क्रीड़ा वाके ना बात ते का कथा कर रहा स्पोर्ट्स मसाला अदा बिन ने डायलॉग श्रीलंका सुपर सेल्स तरगावलिया नुके गोटे हांडी लंका कॉमिक कोर एटम गोद मातर कोटे भी लगा साय सामाजिक क्रिकेट तरगावलिया कतर तुरा बोलूँ बे जाते अंदर पत्तों दर्शन तो स्पोर्ट्स मसाला मील अगर ओबे इसा हुई वेने तो बोलूँ पपरे डॉट कॉम करपु संकल्पे लंका वे क्रीड़ के क्रीड़ का वन इतना में दायित्व है उनके आधास क्रीड़ा तोरतुरु इतना मतलब श्रीलंकी के वशेन मट आडंबर भी है कि मैं आलू संकल्प क्रीड़ा लोग के तो गिने में क्या ना मम्मे अतर में पपरे डॉट कॉम में कितना स्तुति बन गया कुछ मानो क्रिकेट फैन्स आउट दे they look at things in so much detail they demand detail much more than you know we have a video analyst for us mm. Incredible. these guys want even more detail when it comes to you know reading about the game and understand. so i think the papare.com provides all of that beautifully so uh, you know congratulations and well done to the papare.com because for people like me and for, for millions of other cricket fans around the world Read up what single in www.thepapare.com web badavi at pifsila single bhasha avato ragan Cricket, rugby, papandu, volleyball, malal krida, pasi pandu vita rakhne me venak krida saha vishesha angali piyuna the papare single tuli Ay ape video pito krida vaha sambandha dhasakutte kak video sammukha saa kaccha Ewa gema acidisi rugby pitiya pitiya kata sports masala vage sati pata jana priya vishesha angan arban Obe parigana ke
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to www.thepopperty.com. You are joining us for the second half of the Group B encounter between the Masnod College and Marisila College of the Papere Football Championship 2018. Marisila College leading the game 2-0. Yes. The Masnod College now with a corner kick. Masnod College looking for the to pull one back. They found the back of the net in the first half. Unfortunately for them, it was harshly deemed an offside goal. Very debatable. Nonetheless, they need two goals to equal the game. As Maristella searching for their third. Maricela on the ball. <coughs> Poor tackle there. On Tarindo Silva. Referee. Off your screens there, the referee rightly showed the yellow card. That was a harsh challenge. And now, Tarindo Silva attempted the set piece and marched to the imaginary crowd's delight. It failed. However, a slip there sees. Imaginary come close, but once again, ball back with Dimasnet College. Dimasnet College defender slipped there. Almost gave the ball back to Maristella. How you know how I'm done. Yes. Dimasnet College now on the ball. Promontory to Fernando. Well defended by Maristella. And now it's Maristella. In a very threatening position. Looked for the cross, but he was under pressure and it will be a goal kick.
Mesner College now in possession. Time running out. Testing stand. Maristella will top group B. The Mesner College will remain in second place for now. However, that could change depending on how the encounter between St. Patrick's College, Shefna and St. Sebastian, Scotland area goes. Maristella now tried a bit too much there and it's back with the Mesnet College taking the short throw. Long cross into the box. Could not find the team. It will be a goal kick. Both teams have been quite equal. Early in the second half, the rain still coming down here in Kandana. Back in position, looking for a long through ball, and that was a very close chance. Caught the goalkeeper off guard. However, Tomorita Pereira, Maricela goalkeeper, reacted well and made a good save. Punched it out without conceding a corner. Good intentions shown here by the Masnet College. However, they do need to convert. That's now Maricela with the throw. Ball back with Benzer College for Inter Fernando. Well blocked by Maricela. And it's Maricela once again. Caught offside there. Western College rushing to take the free kick. Maristella starting to Silva. Foul there. in a somewhat dangerous area. That was Rajin to Fernando. And that is the second yellow card. Big one, that seems to be a straight red. Shown to the Dimension College player. Referee seems to have deemed it a goal scoring opportunity as the Mazenads player has been sent off. However, the in following free kick stuck straight into the wall. As now the Mazenad College. A man down. Clear the way to safety by Mari Stella.
just to give you confirmation on that red card. The red card has, it was a straight red and it was shown to Nimshan Soisa who was a key player in the first half and it will be interesting to see how the Masnet College play in his absence. They are two goals down and now to make it even worse for them, they are also a man down. The odds are all stacked up against them it seems. been shown to number 20 that's Patum Dilshan who seemed to be have been a half-time substitution and did not last very really wrong as he was shown a straight red Now having the numbers advantage. And that was a very close chance. That was Tarindu Silva took the strike. However, the wet conditions once again came into play. And he slightly slipped, which saw the ball loop just wide. You can see there is a Dimension College player. Pass went by himself. And it was a comfortable save for the Dimesnet goalkeeper. Playing a very risky game there. There's a bit of miscommunication by the defender and the goalkeeper. Yes, Maricela. Good work by Pravrita Fernando. Pravrita Fernando finds a team right on the edge of the box, in fact. This will be a crucial chance. Yes, it seems that Pamela Fernando is going to be the man to take this set piece. Pavita Fernando strikes it low. Blocked off the line by the goalkeeper. It has to be added that with Tarindu Silva's late first half goal. 
he has increased his tally to six goals so far in the Papere Football Championship 2018 and he will if things stand and Maristella move on to the quarterfinals will be one of the favorites for the golden boot at the end of the tournament as a foul there is called after a clash of two players Rajinda Fernando and an imaginary college player going down but Rajinda Fernando taking his time getting back on his feet Sportingly rolls out of the field of play and the referee blows for play to continue as Prometa Fernando strikes it well headed away for a throw in Promote Dilchan. Held on the ball for a bit too long there. But wins his side a throw in. Was Chaturanga Fernando with the ambitious effort from long range. Did not trouble the goalkeeper whatsoever, however. As Parisella now take the time with the goal kick. Referee hurrying them on. Parisella once again. The pass from Anushka Deshaun passes it off. Yeah. College will look for the cross here. Sham Madhushanka should have tried to get a touch there. That's the long range effort. Once again, well over the crossbar. Need to start taking advantage of all these chances. Should look to try and find men inside the box. Kick effort there. Teammate could not get on the under fit. However, it was a good solo effort. Goalkeeper Pereira managing to get down and push it away at the expense of a corner. Mazar College need to get numbers inside the box. Accidental. Yes. Now, the Mazar College with the cross. Cleared away by Maristella. Only as far as a Nimesnet College player, however. Possession. Bouncing back and forth and safely back into the hands of the Nimesnet College goalkeeper. Dava mark now as the score remains to be 2 0 to Maristella Nigambo. I repeat, as it stands, it will be Maristella College who top Group B of the Papri Football Championship as now a long range effort wide of the target. 
as the Melbourne College keep throwing away their chances. This second half so far has not been as action-packed as the first. However, that is to be expected given the rainy conditions. It's from Peter Fernando once again. Battling to remain in position. And an unnecessary shove there. Did not need to lay his hands on the opposition player. Very lucky to get away without a booking there. Usually the law states that if a player puts his hands on opposition player in an aggressive manner, it is punishable in form of yellow card. However, he got away with it there as Maricela strike into the box. Clear away, however, as Marisa remain in position. Corner kick. <laughs> Poorly struck corner there. Sees it go out before it even reaches the opposition box. That's now the Manchester College have a chance to build from the back. Side there against Maristella. The men of the college now back in position. College. John seems to be coming. Cleared away by Maricela. Once again, Provita Fernando back in position. Tried to dribble past his man. But a foot was stuck out and a free kick has been awarded to Masnard College. That's Prometo Fernando after winning the free kick now steps up to strike it. Bit far from goal to go direct. However, that has not stopped players before us. He indeed goes for the direct attempt 
However, comfortably into the hands of Promudita Pereira. As we approach the final 10 minutes of regulation time. All straight back with the Mesnard College. Promudita Pereira, Fernando. Good true ball. And could not be stopped by his teammate upfield. Another goal kick to Maristella. Going for the over the top pass. And that will be the first goal. Shocking scenes. Came out of nowhere. A long ball attempted by the Mesner College. Should have been an easy save for Pramudita Pereira. However, somehow he fumbled the ball and it bounced into the back of the net. He tried to push it out but could not correct his error in time as the referee pointed for a goal and it is now Maristella 2, Dimesnet College 1 as we enter the final 10 minutes of the game. The Mesnet College have a bit of time to pull off the equalizer. Yes, indeed, the Mesnet College seem to be hurrying in search of the equalizer. Chanka should have gone for goal himself, but he seemed to slip, as did Pramudita. As the Marisina player is down in the box. Supporters of both teams making their voices heard. As the Mesnet College chase the equalizer while Maristella hold on to their life for the one goal lead. Five minutes remaining of regulation time. As Mesnet College once again failing to find their man inside the box. Back in possession. Prometo Fernando on the ball. Going for the long range pass. Could not sync up with his teammate. And it's out for a goal kick. Mauricio, unsurprisingly, no hurry to take this. Very close to getting on the end of that. However, it's cleared away. And Ashwin passes it off. We now defend the ball. And the referee has deemed the all that. 
deemed the foul there against Mazda College and it will be a free kick to Maristella. Maristella taking the time. By Pramod Dilshan was just over. It landed on the roof of the net. And the Mazda College have only two minutes plus injury time remaining if they are to equalize this game. Pereira should have made an easy save there. However, he possibly due to the wet conditions, the ball slipped from his gloves and he was not be able to push it out before it crossed the line as we enter the final two minutes of regulation time. Drew a blistering strike from outside the box. Now, the Mazdan College fighting hard to get the equalizer. Maristella defending out of their skins. Maristella still in position. Doing well. Holding on to the ball. Letting time pass. Will be a throw into the Masnet College as we enter injury time as the 90 minutes are up. Provito Fernando laying it off, and the flag is raised. The goalkeeper, anyway, pulled off a save, so it wouldn't have counted. But with just minutes left in the game, Masnad College need to watch the line. If they are to take these opportunities, they will have to ensure that they stay onside. Maristella and a clear foul there by number 17 Avish Kadeshan blatantly went into the player Maristella will take their time taking the set piece referee checking his watch Ball is struck straight out of play. We are throwing to the Manchester College. The college need to hurry the play up. Time is running out. They're going back to the goalkeeper who heaves it downfield. Maricela now breaking into the box. Browns the goalkeeper. And that will be the third goal. Came out of nowhere. And that will be. That will make it 3 1 to Maristella. That was poor defending by the Mesnet College. Really should have cleared their lines, failed to do so. 
and they are while chasing the equalizer they were punished on the counter attack as the game now indeed seems out of their hands barring any miracle it's now marisela college 3 to mesnet college 1 And that will be full time. Maristilla College, Kana Nigambo, as you can see, celebrating. They know they've topped the group. Indeed, with this win, 3 1, Maristilla will top Group B of the Papri Football Championship. And as you can see, confirmation of the full time score. 3-1, Dimensional College 1, Maristella College 3. It all kicked off when Maristella, early in the first half, scored the opener before their captain, Tarindu Silva, with a blistering strike from outside the box, doubled the advantage, and then an unfortunate own goal by goalkeeper, Promotir Pereira, saw Dimensional College pull one back, and then chasing the equaliser, Dimensional Maristella were able to Score on the counter attack as it ends 3 1 to Maristella. From myself, Rahul Madrava, the technical crew of Popri.com, and all of us here, thank you for joining us and keep tuned to www.thepopri.com for more live action of the Popri Football Championship, sharing the passion.